Right, so we've got our iPhone 13 Pro here, and we're going to check out a couple of cases. Um, I say more than a couple, actually quite a lot. So we've got a lot of cases from ESR to look at. Uh, one is a tempered glass, which we might look at another time. But we've basically got all these cases uh, to look at. So today we're gonna to look at the metal kickstand, clear case, cloud soft case, hybrid case with protection, air armor, and a halo lock product as well. So let's start off with the clear case. So standard ESR packaging. I'm gonna take off the sticker and have a look inside. So I'm basically gonna be looking at all the iPhone Pro only cases. They did send me the others, but um, obviously I won't be able to show you them because I don't have the standard iPhone Pro. So standard in all of these, you have like a little protector that keeps all the packaging together. Just a little bit of information about the case itself. Uh, and we've got our clear case. So here we have the clear case. It's got the standard uh, bumper on the outside. Uh, they're, quite, they're what they call the camera guard. It's a little bit higher, bit of a lip to it. Um, you've got some hole cutouts on the edge. You've got built-in silicone covers for the edge side buttons, the volume and sleep and wake and you've got a hole cut out for the volume rocker switch. There's a lanyard hole, and there's a little bit of text branding saying at tech made easier on the side, ESR logo, ESR logo on the bottom there. And uh, that is the clear case. So we'll get it fitted. Uh, clear case is a really nice way to sort of show through the color option that you might have chosen. So here's the clear case on the iPhone 13 Pro. Hole cutouts on the bottom there. And a very large cutout for the sleep mode switch if you use that a lot. And uh, the buttons are nice and easy to press in and so is the sleep and wake button. They're all in alignment, so is the speaker grill holes. And you've got a little bit of a lip here on the edge. I'll try and get that for you. So you can actually see that it's raised a bit higher so you can protect the screen. And obviously the camera bump has a lip to it as well so you can protect the camera bump too. Obviously on the surface, you're still gonna get uh, a bit of rocking because the camera bump is uh, protruding around the edge. Right, let's check out the MagSafe on the case itself. There we go, on the back, totally fine. Uh, doesn't really hold on to the actual phone that well. If I let go, so it's not a MagSafe case. It will not uh, pass through the MagSafe that well. That's something you should really be aware of anyway. The MagSafe is not uh, a brilliant um, through the cases anyway. You really need a MagSafe case to get the best out of this. So that's the clear case, super simple. Got a little bit of dotted pattern on the inside. Don't know if you're gonna be able to catch that. Uh, that just stops it from uh, getting any water bubbles or any air circulation to pass through the back. So it sort of cools the, the heat down a little bit. So that's nice. So that's that. Obviously to remove it, very simple, super flexible. So that's the clear case. Right, next up we have the ESR iPhone 2021 1.6 Halo Lock. So let's just see what this involves. Halo Lock is a brand of ESRs and um, it's resulted to things like um, MagSafe really. It's basically their MagSafe uh, compatible brands. So this is a nice shiny leather bound case with MagSafe. So we've got a leather case, MagSafe in the middle, um, bit of a ridge there. You've got our camera guard, uh, their signature sort of camera guard that they've got there. Hole, hole cutouts for the edge. Uh, built-in um, sort of metal aluminium sort of buttons here 
uh, pass through for the sleep. No lanyard uh, holes on the side here. I've uh, got an official leather uh, seal here, which we're just going to um, pop off so we can get the phone in. And uh, this is going to pass through MagSafe onto the other side. And this smells good, smells like leather. Um, it's a little bit of a defect there. Don't know if you can make it out. Oh, it's unfortunate. Um, it's not in here. And inside you've got like a brushed um, texture uh, to keep the phone nice and shiny and safe when it's inside the case. So let's get this fitted. Um, we're gonna go probably the bottom first and then get the tops in afterwards. So this again has a um, a little bit of a, a lip on it, right on the edge. Uh, you've got gold buttons, which are very nice to play with the buttons and obviously sleep as well. Uh, the whole cutout was a good, see them there and the nice big hole for the lightning port if you've got a thicker third party cable and that's pretty much it so let's just try out the MagSafe MagSafe works let's see if we can just suspend it yes we can and um, so that's good it's definitely going to hold on to it it's very rigid at the back that little ring inside the case is definitely doing its job and we've got um, camera bump is also protected with this camera guard in that it, its lip is, is more than the lenses itself. So that's going to help protect the lenses. And uh, I think it looks nice. Uh, they do this in the variety of colours as well. It works really well with the graphite. And if you've got a lighter colour, maybe a lighter colour leather will work as well. If you've got like a white part of the camera bump for the white version of the iPhone. So this is the Halo Lock leather case from ESR for the iPhone 13 Pro. Right, next up we have the Armour Air Armour case. Uh, this is another sort of clear case of theirs um, and it has uh, a lot more protection on the edges and it is slightly more angular design, I believe. So the usual, we've got the phone stand here this is a, a phone stand that you can put in your backpack when you're traveling or if you're at work it folds out only probably less than 90 degrees and that allows you to put your phone into if you want to watch it without having to manually hold it up it props it up nicely and the actual military grade protection is this again it's their halo lock uh, MagSafe kind of brand. Um, we've got angular edges on the edge side here, nice big camera bump with their camera guard lip on the edge. Silicone buttons protecting your buttons, nice big cutout for the mute switch, got a lanyard hole there, lots of um, air pocket corner edging there, grill holes, some ESR logo there, got an ESR logo and tech made easier slogan on the side. And obviously, like all MagSafe uh, compatible clear cases, you've got this sort of signature white ring. So we get this in the case. Again, this is a edge um, lip on the edge of the phone, which is super handy. Uh, if you want to place your phone down, you've got the MagSafe ring on the back there. Camera guard, which is protecting the camera lenses from being knocked or bumped because it's slightly higher than normal. The silicone buttons are nice to touch because they actually are thin silicone still. They're not thick. Nice big cutout for the mute switch. Holes on the bottom are nicely aligned. Nice big hole for the lightning cable port for any third party cables. And um, that is pretty much it. There's less of a pattern on the inside here. And there's definitely lots of edge protection on this as well. Feels great, it's not sticky, kind of silicone. Let's try MagSafe. So that all passes through just fine. And being MagSafe, it should not let go. So that's good. Definitely solid and rigid there. And does it work with the stand that it came with? Just about. 
Uh, there's definitely room for a little bit more there, but that's pretty much the limit of this stand itself. So it would, it would be a bit silly if it didn't work, uh, but that works and you get that for free and you can pack it in your bag whenever you need to. So that's really handy. So this is the Air Armor case from ESR. Nice case if you like your silicone and you like your uh, clear cases with protection. This is definitely one to check out. Next, we have the hybrid case uh, with some sort of protection, scratch resistant and back, grippy frame, classic series, and it's also in clear. So this looks like another clear case. Again, we've got the uh, foot on the bottom for uh, propping up your phone should you need it. And to me, this looks pretty much the same as the clear case, but it's got the Halo Lock MagSafe wheel on the back. So quickly then, we've got the silicone buttons again, nice open hole for the sleep switch, lanyard, hole cutouts for the bottom with some air cushion padding on the corners. Again, these are raised like the clear look, like the um, clear case. Let's get it on. Again, this is a nice way to showcase your phone color through the back, um, whatever color that you have. Shame they have to do this, but um, with a clear case, there's no other option. Uh, you've got the camera, camera guard on the edge there, give it a bit of a lip, so you've got to protect the camera. You've got a lip on the front, so you've got to protect the phone when it's pushed down, face down. Buttons are nice because it's the clear case. It's a lot more supple than some more rigid cases. Nice switch there to get your, your finger into to turn the sleep mode on and off. You've got your lanyard hole, all the speaker grill is all in alignment. And let's check out the MagSafe. So that goes on fine, nicely secure and it's not going anywhere. So this is the hybrid case, which is the hybrid of Halo Lock system. And um, that is that one. All right, next up, we have the Cloud Soft case. I'm not quite sure what this is, but I think it's gonna be a silicone case in a certain color, whatever they've sent me. Again, we've got a support arm at the bottom there, which they're giving away for free, which is nice. And this is a black, silicone case. Their other cases are really nice, but what I didn't like is that the silicone material does pick up dust and dirt and hair. Uh, if you have, if you put it down somewhere on a couch or a sofa, this does pick it up a little bit, which is unfortunate. Um, there's also a join line all the way around, uh, which is a bit less professional looking, but it's very faint, but you can see it is there. You've got the camera guard on the edge, for the camera lip, nice and velvety soft on the inside, the ESR branding and the halo lock for MagSafe pass-through is also there. Uh, nice big cutout on the side and the actual grill holes on the bottom. So let's get this fitted. Also, with this particular case, if you do buy this, when you start to put the, the, the last edge in onto the silicone case, be careful you don't pinch the edges I pinched that on my other review and um, you end up ripping the silicone. So you have to be very careful. You can see here it's not fully in there. Um, so you need to really um, pull it over and past it to get it in there. But once it's in there, it's unlikely that you're ever gonna take it off again. Uh, but it is a very tight fit. And once it's in, it's in. So that's all fully in. So you've got the camera guard, which is going to protect the lenses. We've got the lip on the edge to protect it from the front. We've got a very nice big mute switch here. These are really nice and easy to press in. Lanyard hole, speaker grills, a little bit of ESR branding there on the side. And that's it. But you can tell that I'm already picking up dust here and that's what I really don't like about some silicone cases. There is a slight different plastic you can buy, almost like the tempered glass material. That will never get any dust on it, and that's the ones I more prefer. But if you like your silicone cases, uh, then um, this is not a bad case, and is up there with the Apple's own ones. Test out MagSafe. 
That locks into place. Pass through MagSafe. This ain't going anywhere either. And let's test the drop. Yeah, that's not going anywhere, so that's really good. Yeah, that fits in nicely. Happy days. So that's the silicone case. Comes in many colors from ESR. I haven't got the pro version of this kickstand. Maybe I can try it on the 12, but I don't think the 12 is gonna fit. So again, we've got a flat stand here for propping up. If you wanna take it with you. And um, my phone isn't gonna work uh, with this, but we'll try it with a Pro 12 Pro. So obviously the 12 Pro fits, but obviously that's not gonna work at all. But um, this will just give you an example of what it could look like on your non-Pro. Um, again, you've got side buttons here, nice and easy accessible for home and sleep. And um, you've got your mute switch here, lanyard holes, speaker grill holes are all in alignment there. You've got some padded edge with raised edges here on the edge for extra protection. And the value add here is this little metal kickstand. And you can get solid versions of this as well. You don't have to get a, um, a clear case. You've got the crash guard here for the camera bump which protects the camera lenses. And obviously the front side has a lip as well for front side protection. Uh, but again, back onto this again, you've got like a little mini built-in kickstand. I don't know why they give you the prop arm for that purpose, um, because you're gonna get it with this one anyway, but maybe that's just something they wanna pass through. So that system allows you to prop your phone up horizontally to watch a film or a movie, TV series or whatever. Um, you can also prop it up this way for a uh, TikTok or FaceTime, Zoom call and things like that, or Instagram video. Uh, you can actually have it propped up there as well. It is a little bit unstable on the portrait mode, and this is a little bit scratchy, and I wouldn't like to put this near any sensitive surface because I think it will scratch it. Um, there's a little recess inside here, so it clips and locks in, stops it from falling out uh, by accident. No MagSafe, so you will have no pass-through of MagSafe. It will obviously work, as you've heard there, but it's really loose. It's not secure in there at all. So uh, bear that in mind if you're thinking about getting this case um, just for this. You're not gonna get any MagSafe pass-through. So that's the ESR iPhone 13 case with a built-in kickstand. So lastly, we've got the ESR tempered glass protector. So in here, it's all well protected. We've got lots of stuff here. We've got a cleaning kit, two of those, uh, three of those. We've got a template. So if you ever have trouble uh, with alignment, this is perfect for that. We've got a user manual to tell you how to do it. And then in here, we've got one, two, three. You only need one, by the way. Three tempered glass panels. So inside one of them, I'll show you. We've got a sort of notch bump there for the speaker grill. And these aren't tempered glass. They're um, actually plastic, um, which I'd rather not use, I'd rather have uh, the 9H glass, that's got way more protection. But these are all the same. So if you ever mess up, uh, you can just keep um, applying different ones. So let's have a go at applying one. First things first, we need to clean the phone. So we just need to open up one of these and inside we're gonna have a bunch of mini accessories, ones to probably clean it and another one like a microfiber cloth to get rid of any dust. We've got a wet wipe, and then we've got a sticky to get rid of any dust removal if any dust comes onto the phone after you've cleaned it. So the first things first is we need to clean the screen with a wet wipe. So we've got a small little wet wipe here. We've got to completely douse the front of the phone with this. Also turn it on and off by the the process. So that's now fully wet. And then we're going to dry it with the microfiber cloth. Try and get everything so there's no dusts whatsoever. 
So we've got a dust removal sticker here, we won't be needing that just yet. And then you're going to basically put on this little guide. Um, it doesn't really say which end is which, so we're just going to apply the whole thing on top. That sits on top like that, it sits over the top. So now we just make sure we've got no dust on here whatsoever. And now that you've done that, we peel off this front side and then we paste it on. So we lower the speaker grill bit first. So it says gently press on the center of the screen. And with the microfiber cloth, we're just gonna get rid of all these bubbles. So you need to basically force them out from the edge. So that one's a bit stuck there. So with the case removed, everything should be in alignment. Unfortunately, there's little one little bubble here, and there's this one down here, which I'll try and move off the edge. So this is a reason. See that little bit there? That's why you need to get all the dust off your screen. Now I've got two more chances here, but if you've done a good enough job elsewhere, you might just want to leave that and let the heat potentially uh, get rid of that little bubble. But with the phone on, I'm going to put the phone on now. Uh, you're pretty much not going to notice. So with the phone on, you're not going to even see that it's there, really. Um, you're not really going to see the phone always like this to notice. So over time, we'll see if that goes. If it doesn't, I might try again. But all the touch input is totally fine through it. Face ID works through it perfectly fine as well. So happy days. So this is the tempered glass screen protector from ESL. It helps keep the front of your phone protected from scratches and scrapes. It's just a, a very simple way to keep the front of your phone protected. So to recap then, here are all the cases that we've actually looked at in this video from ESR. We've got the clear case. We've got the clear case with MagSafe pass-through, also known as Halo Lock for their brand. Again, you've got a Halo Lock MagSafe pass-through with an armored case with extra protection. We've also got the clear case again with a kickstand, should you want that. And you've got the silicone case with its various color options with MagSafe pass-through. And you've also got the leather case with the MagSafe pass-through as well. All of these cases, apart from the leather and the clear case, come with a prop stand that we've looked at previously. It comes with these. So this one, this one, this one, and this one come with this stand. Only these two don't. This is probably the cheapest. And ironically, this is one of the, the more expensive. Obviously, these don't come with MagSafe pass-through, so you're gonna have much less strength when you attach your MagSafe charger onto, and um, it won't hold onto it if you were to sort of dangle it uh, from the cable. So it will charge your phone through this case using MagSafe, but it just won't hold onto it, which is what MagSafe is. It's basically the attachment, it's not the charging. Um, all these four here um, come with MagSafe pass-through and they all lock onto it really, really well. So that's something um, you might wanna look into if you're got a MagSafe charger already. Otherwise, um, they're all great cases. They all give you that protection. They all got lip for the camera bump and on the front of the phone. But personally, if it was me, my favorite is the, the leather case has got much better protection, um, long lasting as well. It's not gonna pick up any lint or fluff or hair from your pockets, whereas the silicone one will. Uh, they all got the camera guards for your lenses, so that's going to keep it protected. I would also recommend the MagSafe compatible versions of these cases, so the Halo Lock feature of these cases. I'd rather get these over these ones, uh, especially if you've got it already or you're thinking of getting MagSafe charger accessories. If you're in the car with a MagSafe charger uh, and it has got no cradle or foot support on the bottom, then you definitely want to uh, get a MagSafe pass-through case. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, please leave us a like down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of these cases. You can check out all my iPhone accessory reviews up in this playlist up here.
Hit the subscribe button down below to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.